Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. In today's video, let's talk about the season finale of The Family Chantel. First of all, I love the comments in regards to the last uh, recap that we did. Let's talk about the actual wedding. If you know, at the wedding celebration that, I'm, that I was referring to, there was a big blow up between Anjanette, Chantel, Ooh. and of course, Karen. <laughs> and one thing I have to say, Chantel, oh. first of all, she just looks dead in the eyes. Uh, <laughs> during a lot of these situations, like when other people are talking, she just looks like this. I'm like, are you okay, Chantel? She is a Karen in training. There's just something very sinister and dark happening there with her. But on a lighter note, Pedro though is comic relief throughout this episode. <laughs> just just the little bits and pieces that we get of Pedro throughout this episode was was it was definitely needed with everything else going on. So as you know, at this at this after this party, Anjanette blows up because she feels like Chantel and Karen are causing trouble within the family. Well, the trouble does not stop there <laughs> because now they been told to leave the party and now they're wondering if they're going to even attend the wedding you know royal's wedding well long story short they do end up attending royal's wedding one thing that i noticed with river is that he really loves his brother really wants to support his brother remember we didn't really love river when they were on 90 day fiance because he was the one really causing a lot of trouble between Chantel and pedro and he he's the one who got in the fight with pedro but one thing i have to say he really goes hard for his siblings specifically royal like he really wants to be there for royal royal as we've discussed there's some darkness there as well and it's just the, the way that they express themselves is so awkward you're sort of like just spit it out like what are you trying to say um but the wedding First, let's talk about the fashion. And then when I say the fashion, first of all, Anjanette looked beautiful. Anjanette, as we've already said, she's a lot more sinister and manipulative than we give her credit. We thought she was this innocent, you know, young bride, but she's actually a lot darker and sinister than we really thought. But anyways, fast forward to the day of the wedding and we see Karen and Chantel and Winter coming down the stairs to meet, you know, everyone. And they've got these really traditional um, dresses. You know, they said when they went to the mall, they said this is very traditional. They could barely move because it's like they're Disney princesses coming. They look beautiful, though. But them coming down the stairs because they're, they're just so socially awkward and weird in all kinds of good ways. But them coming down the stairs, for me, was comic relief. But they did look beautiful. They attended the wedding. They didn't cause much trouble. But they did, Karen in true form, you know, at the end of the wedding, you know, was speaking to Anjanette's parents. And Anjanette's parents, basically, in their confession, was saying, like, we don't trust them. They're fake people. But, and, and they're right. They are fake people. Karen is fake because she's saying to them, oh, don't worry about Anjanette. Like, they should be worried more than ever after this trip about their daughter, Anjanette, in America. She's like, we're going to, you know, make sure Anjanette is fine. She's part of the family. She was part of the family technically even before this. Because remember, this wedding was just, you know, they're already married. This was just for for her family, pretty much. Um, but the, the the season finale was good. The, the season was pretty good. Would you want to see a season three? Honestly, I'm not sure. But I also wasn't sure after season one and they brought it this season. But let's talk about Pedro's sister, Nicole, in the Dominican Republic. As I said to you before, I'm not that excited about that whole situation. There were some really cute and real moments, as I said in my last recap. In this particular last season, you know, in the season finale, Nicole is given a promise ring because remember, Alejandro is still married and that's why the mother doesn't like him and also she's producing a show so she couldn't like him even if she did um and he gives her a promise ring and everyone is like wait a second aren't you still married because we didn't know at first that it was a promise ring we just saw you know in the preview that he was going to propose to her propose but it is a promise ring do people still do promise rings it seems like they do on these reality shows. There are a lot of promise rings being given out. Jenny and Submit, he gave her a promise ring on 90 Day Fiance the other way. Now we have Alejandro giving Nicole a promise ring. Nicole's pretty young. She's what, in her early 20s. Um, so 
I don't think she should be getting married anyway. That's just me. Uh, in this day and age, you don't have to get married like that. However, it was interesting to watch. First of all, it was interesting to see Carnival in Dominican, you know, in Dominican Republic. I've never seen it before, honestly. Uh, so it, that part was interesting. But for them to get engaged in a promise ring, okay, I, I accept that. And her her last conversation with her mom, you really see Nicole give her mom hell about it. Like, you know, this is what I want. And, and to me, that moment was kind of real because it was sort of like throughout the, the season, you don't really see her really fight for her relationship. It's sort of like, oh, my mother and blah, 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 blah. You know, this time she was like, no, you know, he's going to get a divorce. And now she's insisting that he get, get this done so that she can really, you know, prove to her friends and family that this is a legitimate relationship. And I get that. First of all, I wouldn't be accepting a promise ring either. I'd be like, no, get the book. Like, I, it's not that I wouldn't date someone that was separated or, no, I'm, I'm okay with Nicole's situation. However, you're not going to get engaged or even give a promise ring if you have a situation that's not cleared up and settled over there. Clear that up and settle that. And then we can talk about serious business. But the other thing is too, is like, is Nicole going to get a K-1 visa and come to the U.S. to be with Alejandro? Maybe that's season three. <laughs> let me know what you think about the season finale of the, the Family Chantel in the comments and let's talk about it.